Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about hand, foot and mouth disease. Hand, foot and mouth disease is caused by Coxsackie virus A16, Coxsackie virus A10, Coxsackie virus A6 and Enterovirus 71. In the United States, this is the most common cause. Coxsackie virus A16. Transmission occurs through contact with saliva, nose, throat, through coughing, sneezing, through their secretion, fluid in blisters, and through the fecal oral route. Hand, foot, and mouth disease is a highly contagious viral disease. A disease in the children with worldwide distribution. But adults are also at risk. It happens mostly in the children because children have less immunity. And children used to put their hand, finger inside the mouth. So this type of disease is common in the daycare center where people used to change the diaper and there may be chance of fecal transmission also. This disease is usually self-limited and benign. This disease happened during the summer month, but any time of the year, it is possible to get that disease. Okay, so hand, there will be blister formation here on the palm, also on the sole of the foot, mouth around the oral cavity, inside the oral cavity, around the mouth, okay, inside the oral cavity you may have the blister or sore in the tongue, soft palate, hard palate, even in the ebula, okay, it may be a painful condition, there will be painful swallowing that is possible. So it is not only confined to the hand, foot and the mouth, it may be also be found in the perineum area or buttock area, around 31% of cases. Okay, so hand, foot, mouth may be in the buttock or in the perineum blister formation, rash, blister, and there will be sore in the mouth because of blister, and the blister may be present, or rash may present in the tongue, soft palate, ebula, heart palate. So it is a painful situation that children don't like to eat, don't like to get the fluid. So there may be chance of dehydration and lack of food because of sore in the mouth, sore in swallowing. So clinical feature, incubation period is four to six days. Patient may report odinophagia, sore throat, malaise and fever. Fever may go to 101 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, so maybe 102. Development of vesicle in the mouth and rashes, often vesicular on the palm and sole. Involvement of buttock and perineum occur in around 31% of cases. Lesion usually resolve within a week. Most common complication is dehydration because of sore mouth sore throat, specifically the oropharynx area, soft palate, oropharynx tongue, sore is present there. Rare complications include aseptic meningitis, encephalitis, and very rarely myocarditis. Diagnosis mostly made on clinical presentation. 
PCR may be performed for severe and atypical cases. If the doctor wants to know the, wants to know the type of virus, he can pick up some specimen from the throat or from the fluid and send that to the lab. Treatment supportive care as it is a self-limiting disease. Drinking of plenty of water, the children or the patient, usually the patient is a child less than five years, but it may be up to the age of 10, maybe the adult may have hand, foot and mouth disease on very rare occasion. Okay, so supportive care uh, because it's self-limiting disease, drinking plenty, plenty of water, for painkiller, we need acetaminophen, that is Tylenol, or ibuprofen, so that there will be decreased pain in the mouth or oral area, so the child can drink water or the liquid food, and avoid spicy and acidic food or beverages that will irritate the mucosa, that will cause more pain, so avoiding those. Now we'll go to the prevention. Avoiding close contact with infected people. Okay, no hugging, kissing as far as possible. Okay, when the daycare worker will change the diaper, diaper should be properly disposed and always washing the hand with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or sanitizing the hands with alcohol-based sanitizer frequently. Disinfecting potential contaminated surfaces, including the toys and the furniture. Health education is a must for all the people in contact with the disease and also for the patient himself or herself. Health education is, is a must. How to prevent the spread of infection this is very important. And that's all about the hand, foot, and mouth disease. One important point is that hand, foot, mouth disease occur in children mostly. It is not the same as the hoof and mouth disease or foot and mouth disease of animal like cattle, pig. Okay. It is not like the or sheep, so it is not like their disease. This disease cannot be trans hand, foot, and mouth disease cannot be transmitted to the animal or the hand or the hoof and mouth disease or foot and mouth disease of the animal cannot be transmitted to human. So these are two different entities. One is hand, foot, and mouth disease. Another one is hand and mouth disease or hoof for mouth disease. And that's all for about the hand, foot and mouth disease. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.